welcome back welcome back yes this is my messy desktop as it is at the moment so to set up your b loader pro to configure it you simply hold down that button with the up arrow hold it down while you plug in your usb i'm going to plug my usb in now and you should hear that usb connection sound there we go that's been connected i have the files in my downloads folder so i'm going to simply go to my downloads folder wherever you saved it is perfectly fine i'm going to go to b loader pro software i'm going to go to manager 1.4 for b loader pro i'm going to go to super manager 1.4 i'm going to simply double click on where it says super manager now you might not see what's on my screen but something's popped up asking me if i'm sure i want to allow this program to make changes you select a yes here below the manager comes up i've already shown you guys how to do the upgrade what i'm going to do next is show you guys how to configure now this configuration method is the new method as of september of or october 2022 click configuration and as you can see we only have four steps this time not the traditional seven or eight i believe which was the previous version i'm going to click on where it says click here to set up your psn account i'm going to click there it's going to take me to the playstation website it's going to have to log me in so i'm going to hide my details here click sign in now i have on my phone the uh, two-factor authentication app so i need to potentially go into my app and enter the code on there if you don't have this set up, then you shouldn't have to worry about this section, but I'm going to hide this section as well. I'm going to verify. And if I've done that quick enough, it should log me in. Now, once I've logged in, I don't need to do anything else but copy the URL. So I simply highlight everything at the top, right click, go to copy. I'm going to minimize my browser for now. All I have to do is go to step two, where it says click here after copy successful and wait for PSN ID to be displayed. I'm going to click on option number two. Again, this is all you have to do. Click on that and wait for it to do its thing. So there on the right hand side, mine is going to be blurred out again, but my thing, my ID is there. So now the next thing I need to do PS5 console eight digit matching code. That's all I need to do next. So I'm going to go onto my PS5. As the instructions say, I'm going to go to settings on my PS5. I'm going to go down to where it says system. And on the system, I'm going to go over to where it says remote play. My thing is already enabled, so that's perfectly fine. I'm going to simply go to where it says link device. Now, that eight digit code that comes up, I'm going to type that into my window. So I'm going to make sure I hide my code so no one hacks my stuff. Once the code has been entered, I'm going to click save. And as you can see, configuration saved successfully, confirmed. That's it. So this step is now finished. B loader goes first. So that goes into the PlayStation 5 directly. Then we have the Zim Apex going into the B loader. And from the Zim Apex, we have the USB hub, like so. That's how you connect it to your PS5. So this goes into the PS5 directly. The B loader goes into the PS5 directly and the Zim Apex comes after. We have our USB hub and you guys know controller, mouse, keyboard goes in here. I don't remember which one is which to be fair, but you can figure that part out quickly. B loader pro slightly different the way this works because it has so many ports on there. So we still have our B loader pro USB port, which is that one. So plug your Zim Apex into this like, well, am I doing that right? No, upside down. Plug your Zim Apex into the B loader pro. Right, so again, the below the USB hub has to come after. Now, when holding it like this, the USB to the left, the USB C to the left, so that one there, that's the one that goes into the PlayStation 5. So you're going to just plug the USB C cable in and plug this one into the PS5. The one on the left, looking at it directly from the front, goes into the PS5. The one on the right, I'm not going to plug that cable in now, but the other one is just to give it extra power because again, the B loader needs to drive the Zim Apex and the Zim Apex then needs to drive mouse, keyboard and the controller at the same time. That's my PlayStation 5. This is all the connections I showed you guys previously. Now, again, I'm going to hold the B loader like that and the cable that goes from the left, that's the one I plug into the PlayStation 5. So I'm going to just plug that into the USB port there. That should at some point start pouring the Zim Apex at the bottom there. Once I power the PlayStation on, which I'm going to do now. PlayStation is on. Let's see what's going on here. Yep, Zim Apex on, B loader on. The B loader is not going to work now, but that's perfectly fine. I'm going to show you guys how to actually configure 
the Zim Apex first, and then I'm gonna show the full configuration steps for the B loader afterwards. All right, so here I'm on my mobile phone, and I'm gonna go into, I've arranged everything, I'm gonna go into where it says media, I'm gonna to go to Zim Apex Manager. There might be an update for this, but that really doesn't matter right now. Mine should be connecting, because I have connected to that Zim Apex before, and GTA 5 is a setting I have on there. So once that's all connected, all you then have to do is come into the app and maybe create or load a new thing. So because I already have configs on there, these are all the configs I have on my Zim Apex right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a new one, right? Why not? I'm gonna go to the top right where you have the three dots, press that, go to new config. From new config, choose whatever you want. What's a PS5 game out now? I've Cyberpunk, I think there is a new Cyberpunk thing. So there we go. I tap on Cyberpunk. Now. Even though it doesn't say PlayStation 5 on here, that's perfectly fine. You're going to want to simply click on the PS4 version. That's going to take a, a while to do its thing. And once it's finished, that's your setting already set up. Now you have to figure out what settings work best for you in this specific game. Oh, let me go back. So you need to go to the website, find out whatever is on the forums, and just simply tailor this to yourself. In that gray box at the top, that's where you're normally going to have your mouse, keyboard, and controller icon. But because mine are not plugged in right now, it's not showing up. So hopefully this was helpful. That's how you connect your Zim Apex to your B-Loader Pro or your normal B-Loader on your PlayStation 5.